Rose Walter's asked me to do a song called The Hole in the Bottom of the Sea. She's going to have a painting class where she's going to be painting a frog on a log, she said. So we tried this yesterday and we couldn't get it to send to her. So we're going to try it again today. It's a little cooler, but we'll, we'll try it for today and see what we can do. Well, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a knot on a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a knot on a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a frog on a knot on a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a frog on a knot. Lay the ward on the frog on the knot on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Lay the ward on the frog on the knot on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's the hole, there's the hole, there's the hole in the bottom of the sea. Lay the hair on the ward on the frog on the knot on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Lay the hair on the ward on the frog on the knot on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's the hole. Lay the tiger on the hair on the ward on the frog on the knot on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Lay the tiger on the hair on the ward on the frog on the knot on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Lay the germ on the tiger on the hair on the ward on the frog on the knot on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Lay the germ on the tiger on the hair on the Hey everybody, I hope you loved that song by Mr. Steve about a frog on a log. I know that my kids really enjoy hearing that and when he performed that at art camp last summer, all of my students enjoyed it as well. There's no telling how many times he has performed that for children in the community and thank you Miss Sam for recording him. We appreciate it. So our lesson today is obviously going to be a frog on a log. So we're going to go ahead and get started. You can use a pencil, which makes it easier to correct your mistakes later on because you can erase them. If you want to be adventurous and do the Sharpie, that's okay too. Sometimes we just have to learn to integrate lines that we have left. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want everybody to do is draw an oval on the side of your paper. Kind of looks like a pickle and is on the left side of my paper. And then we're going to draw a line on the top and the bottom. Remember, you are trying to fit something on the log, so don't make it too small. And to make this look more three-dimensional, you definitely want to make sure that you draw a curved line on the outside of your log. And we will do some interior detail now. So I'm going to come over here and put a little dot, and then I am going to draw a spiral. We want to add some interior detail on the inside of our log as well. So we're going to draw some wavy lines. And then we'll put some spirals with tails. So what you're going to do is put a dot, draw a spiral, and give it a tail. So add a couple of those on there. Again, all that I'm doing is putting a dot, drawing a spiral, and giving it a tail. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is a water line. I want it to kind of be in the middle of my log, so I'm going to draw a wavy line. And I'm going to draw a few wavy lines in the water and definitely put a shadow underneath my log so that it looks like it is setting in the water. And now we're going to add our frog. So all we're going to do is draw a square in the center and I'm going to round my edges out so really it looks more like a loaf of bread. So I've got a square with curved edges and it looks like a loaf of bread. On top of that, we're going to put some funny looking eyeballs. So we're going to draw 
two big circles. And we want these to look, look, excuse me, look like they are a part of the frog. So on the left, you're gonna draw a curved line that connects them to the body of the frog. And then you're gonna draw a little line here on the front. Remember we've talked about in other videos when you do pupils, you're gonna draw a circle and fill all of it in except for one little spot. Those are called hot spots. And if you want your frog to look a little more interesting, you could add eyebrows and eyelashes if you wanted to. Right. And I'm gonna give mine a smiley face. So you're gonna draw a smile. We're gonna give it a funny tongue. So we know that frogs have long tongues and they shoot it out to catch different things that they want to eat. So. We're just gonna draw a long curly tongue and we'll go back and kind of fatten it up a little bit and we can color that with pinks and reds. All right, I'm gonna make mine look like it's got a few freckles. If I wanted to, I could put two little curved lines to look like a nose. So we want ours to look like a frog right now. It looks like a snake's head sitting on top of that log. And Miss Jenny definitely doesn't want it to look like a snake. So let's add some legs on there. We're gonna draw two straight lines. And at the bottom of those straight lines, we're gonna put one toe, two toes, three toes. One toe, two toes, three toes. And we want to fatten those up a little bit. And at the end, we want to put some circles in that part under their little toes is sticky so it helps them stick to stuff. And when we color these in, hopefully you'll color some spots with dark green. So like when I draw, I like to shade sometimes a little bit. And when I go back in to paint or color, I'll make those parts a little darker green and I'll mix my light green in there with it. All right, let's put some back legs. So I'm gonna do a line that goes up on the left and a line that goes up on the right. And I'll bring those back down. I do want them to be on the log. I've got some overlapping here, so I'm gonna let my tongue be on top and the leg be behind the tongue. Okay, we're just gonna thicken those back up and then you'll give each leg three feet, or excuse me, three toes. And they're kinda long. And then you'll thicken those up and add you some circles. So let's say that you did do yours with the Sharpie and obviously we've got this line here that we really don't need. Part of being an artist is being a good problem solver. So we could curve the tops of the legs to make it look like that was intentional. You could shade that in a little bit if you wanted to and then add some values down here too to make it disappear. All right. So we've got our frog on our log. My top and bottom to me looks a little empty. So we wanna create some layering here and fill our picture. I'm gonna go in and do some shrubbery in the background. And then I'm gonna do like lots of little wavy lines in here just to add some texture. And I can add some clouds. If you wanted to put a bumblebee in there, you could. Here's the sun. So we have a frog on a log. As far as a follow-up assessment, or not assessment, activity, this is a great website. It's called twinkle.com. And she does what are called stone stories and she has the printouts for them. She has a search engine so you can type whatever you want on there. I would type in frog's life cycle and you have printouts that you can give to the kids, find you some rocks outside. They can cut and glue these to the stones and then you can lay them out 
on paper and show what the life cycle is. It's also a great opportunity to learn about public speaking. What better place to do that than where you have a captive audience. So make mom and dad, grandma, whoever sit on the couch and you can hold your little stones up and tell the life cycle of a frog. So lots of opportunities to follow up there in some life lessons. I hope that you like and subscribe and share these videos and I would love to see some of your artwork. I hope y'all enjoyed this as much as I did. Y'all have a blessed day and I'll see you the next time.